it's safe to assume that you were familiar with Laika before your sister was yes, in Coraline. Did mm -hmm. she have any advice for you? She she didn't have really any advice. She was excited that I was getting accepted into the Laika family. Yeah. <laughs> so that was nice. She has her Coraline doll and now I have my Winnie. So um, it's very cool. But I was really familiar with their stop motion and, you know, in their movies because I'm I felt like I grew up with it kind of because my sister for like seven or eight years she was voicing Coraline mm -hmm. and I did get to go to Portland and visit the uh, the studios with her so I saw all the Coraline dolls and all um and in their world so I, I knew I was familiar with it I think they kind of they asked me to do this because they they already knew me Sure. <laughs> yeah. So there, you know, there might be some bias. You box trolls, your sister Coraline. Right. The real question some competition. is, <laughs> what did you think about Paranorman? I love Paranorman. <laughs> yeah, it's so. I love the um, the the teenage like the girl in it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I, I I did get to see when I went to the box trolls. Um, uh, when I went to there, I went up to Portland and saw the set there, and then I saw Paranorman like some of their dolls they have sitting out, and the girl is just so. Funny. She has her fingernails are painted pink, and she has like a pink tracksuit that's sure. tiny. I'm like, and it's real terry cloth. It's like, how did they do this? The so. attention to detail. Yeah, Paranorman's great too. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about your personal connection to your character? What what about her uh, fascinated you? Yes. Well, Winnie, I, I I feel like I've never played um, someone like her before because she definitely kind of a brat, sure. <laughs> which um, I enjoy kind of exaggerating that. It's funny because in the first couple scripts, because there's a lot of drafts, they're always like revising, she was even kind of meaner. Mm -hmm. She was like very much, uh, you, she wasn't very likable. And so as we went along, we're like, we should make her a little more likable. And I, I'm, I think that uh, what I most like about her is that she's feisty, but you can like respect her sass. You know, like yeah. she's she's not someone that you you kind of want to dislike her, but then you don't. You kind of you have to love her. She's kind of a product of her environment, though. You, yes, you gotta, because of her dad. Sure. You get it, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the differences in in portraying a character like this where you're doing a voice versus live action? What's similar, what's different in your preparation for it? Yeah, I feel, you know, it, it's similar because I still prepare in the same way as I still imagine that I'm this person and, and, and work with the script and feel like I'm, I'm still becoming a character. But then it's very different because you don't have your face to rely on. You don't have your eyes to kind of show that emotion. And every All the layers have to be depicted in the way you sound, which at first was definitely like a challenge for me because I was I felt like I was like really acting with, you know, like with my face. So like you yeah. don't have to do that, you sure, know, it, sure. it, just make sure that it it comes out and your voice portrays the emotion. So then you get more comfortable with it, but that was, that's definitely the difference. I was talking to Sir Ben Kingsley mm -hmm. and he mentioned that he delivered his lines lying on the floor. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> I know, and it does, he does not sound at all. At all, like Snatcher. I, because I, I feel you. Know, I like to play that game, like when I watch animated films, like trying to guess, sure, you know, sure. the celebrity. I do that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, I think we're gonna stump a lot of people with this one. They're gonna oh, be like, who's Serpent in this? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about seeing your character in real life for the first time? You said you've been to the studio before. What was that like? Yes. Um, it's. I feel like everyone should experience. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs to go to the studio. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's unbelievable just seeing how small these things are and realizing that every single thing you see on screen is handmade by the oddest materials and they're all have all these mechanics underneath them sure. so you know the lip can snarl and like the everything um, and everything is done by a human touch and I and you can really tell that like there's a lot of heart that goes into it I think like five seconds takes two weeks to do right. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for your time.